So you should be able to walk into a room, hold your head up high, because you know ain't nobody in there better than you. Hey y'all, welcome back. I cannot believe I've been on YouTube for like a whole entire week now. That is so crazy. And I am so, so, so excited for today's video. So obviously you clicked on this video because you wanna know how to be confident. You wanna know how to be confident in heels, in a dress, talking to boys, and you think you're gonna get that advice from a cheerleader. <laughs> Wrong. This is not about outwardly surface type confidence because what good does that do if you don't know how to be confident? That other kind of stuff is just self-conscious stuff that everybody gets regardless. This is about how to be confident within yourself, that unmovable, unshakable confidence that nobody can take away from you, all right? Let's get into it. So first, let me define the kind of confidence I'm talking about in this context. There's two parts to this definition and they both go together. So the first part is being self-assured in one's own abilities. And the second part being being certain of the truth of something. And there's four ways to encompass that within yourself. And I'm going to go over all four and why they're important. Okay, number one, do the things that you say you are going to do so you know that you are the person who you say you are if you don't do that of course you're not gonna feel good about yourself because you sit there and lie every dog on day just lie all those things that you say you're gonna do and you haven't done them that's what's hurting you like one thing i cannot stand is a freaking liar i hate when people don't keep their word that really says a lot about their character and it really gives me an ick about that person and why would i want to have an ick over myself why would I want to have an ick over myself? When I say I'm going to do something, then I'm going to do something, you know, because that means that I just have integrity with myself. So when you do the things that you say you're going to do, like I just said, you gain integrity with yourself. Therefore, you trust yourself. And that goes back to that definition, being certain of the truth of something. And now you can have more confidence because you're certain that you're going to do the things that you say you're going to do. So there you go. All right. And number two, and this is a big one. You have to tell yourself the truth. You have to call a spade a spade and tell yourself the truth, all right? Well, how do I identify the truth? Where does that come from? What does that look like? The truth is that place deep down inside you that you really feel about yourself. That place that you don't let nobody else see. Yeah, that's normally where the truth lies. Remember that scene on Rocky? when And y'all, y'all should tell by now. I love the movie Rocky. I didn't mention Rocky. This is my third video. I think I mentioned Rocky in every single one. So y'all should right now. I love that movie. But anyways, remember that scene on Rocky when Adrian confronted him on the beach and she was trying to get into him, trying to find what the truth was. We got everything but the truth. What's the truth, damn it? I'm afraid, all right? You want to hear me say it? You want to break me down? All right, I'm afraid. That's what the truth looks like. So if you feel like you suck, chances are you f***ing suck, okay? Don't go nowhere. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't go nowhere. You remember in my last video when I said don't identify with your feelings? It's okay to feel ways, but it's not okay to identify with those ways because as soon as you identify with the way that you feel, that's what you become okay if you haven't seen my last video then you need to go watch it and i know you're probably thinking don't say that about yourself that's me that listen god gave us emotions to use as a guide not a leader but a guide they're there to tell you that something needs attention or that something needs to be fixed and they guide you to the truth you know that gut feeling that you've been ignoring mm-hmm so that's why with myself, I keep saying I'm not the best because that's how I feel, but I will be. That's how I identify. And that's what I'll become. That's how highly I think of myself. Mindset. Although it hasn't manifested itself yet, y'all, everything cannot manifest at the same dog on time, okay? Process. But in order for it to, to manifest, I have to work. Faith that work is dead. If you want to know what I'm thinking, Watch what I'm doing, because what I'm doing is exactly what I'm thinking. And what I'm thinking is how I identify and how I identify is what I become. OK, basically, your identity is a thing that you aspire to be. But that is not the thing that you are currently. I'm not worried about my little feelings being hurt. I ain't worried about that. I much rather have the truth because I can't do anything without it. I can't move forward without that part first the truth is according to your standards not anybody else's this is where a lot of people get in trouble if somebody says like 
oh, that's a good job. But according to your standards, it's not. Then don't feed yourself what somebody else is telling you because that's where you're hurting yourself. That's where you start lying to yourself because it is a good job to according to somebody else's standards. And that's where that uh, ick feeling like I don't feel good about myself comes from because you're not telling yourself the truth if your standards are all the way up here number one do not be ashamed of that number two reach those standards now that we've told ourselves the truth here's the good part now we have a starting point now our feet are on solid ground or we're not just floating around in the la la land of lies now we can improve but there is a rabbit hole that people can fall into when you're talking about this one okay and that is fake it to you make it. I don't know who in they right mind came up with that, but that is not what you do. That is not what you do. I know that is common to say when you are talking about the subject of confidence, but do Lord have mercy. Do not fake it till you make it. That is the worst advice anybody can ever give you. If you fake it till you make it, then once you make it, everything prior that you've been doing has been fake and you've been lying to yourself this whole entire time which goes back to the definition of being certain of the truth how can you be certain of anything if everything you've done has been fake and now you're this imposter living in a false reality so that now what and honestly being an imposter in like a false reality is so much harder to untangle i'd rather just not be confident I mean, I'd rather just not be confident than, than fake it till I make it. What sense does that make? Who who came up with that? So really, all you've been doing this entire time is just running the place. You ain't getting nowhere. You ain't getting nowhere. And that's why, oh my gosh, that is why I do not like affirmations, y'all. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't go nowhere. Stay with me. People say, I am this. I am that. When, no, you're not. Like, people do affirmations before they tell themselves the truth. That's really the problem because they don't want to go to that place that they don't let nobody else see to find it. I'm not going to sit here and say that I am the best Tumblr because I'm not. That's a freaking lie. You know, that's of course is what I aspire to be. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I am the best Tumblr. Because if I have, like, that's why I, when you just feel so uh or just out of sync with yourself because you're trying to live in something that isn't true so when the fact that it isn't true reveals itself time and time again that's why it don't feel right so if you tell yourself what is really true then you can start there and work towards the thing that you want to be does that make sense all right number three get out of your comfort zone on a consistent basis you can't just do the things that you say you're going to do you have to do the things that you are afraid to do growth and confidence does not come from that soft spot that you like to be that ain't gonna teach you nothing you have to just jump into the darkness to into the unknown and do the things that you are afraid to do. That kind of goes back to my last video when I was talking about mind blocks, um, when I was talking about fighting. Yeah, when you finally beat the thing that's been whooping your behind, you can puff out your chest a little bit, you know? And sometimes it's not even about whether you win or lose, you know? It's about having the courage to face it time and time again. That thing that you are afraid of, that's outside of your comfort zone, you gonna have to tell it the only thing, the only way you can keep me from showing up to the fight, you gonna have to kill me. If you ain't gonna do that, you gotta fight me every day. You gotta fight me on Monday, fight me on Tuesday, fight me on Wednesday. You gotta fight me every day. You know? That's what you gotta tell the thing that you are afraid of that's outside of your comfort zone. You gotta keep showing up to the fight, like I said in the last video, and that is how you conquer it in order to gain your confidence. It's also not about doing the things that you're afraid to do that are outside of your comfort zone. It's about doing the things that you don't wanna do. I don't like stretching. Well, it's like a love-hate relationship, but I'm not a big fan of stretching, but I stretch every day because I don't want to. It doesn't make sense when you say it out loud, but that's what you got to do because nine times out of ten, the thing that you don't want to do is a thing that nobody else wants to do either, which leads me right into my next point. All right, last but certainly not least, my favorite, number four, you have to outwork everybody. Don't let anybody ever, ever outwork you. And that kind of goes back with the uh, first definition. 
having assurance in one's own abilities. I know I got up this morning and did this, this, and this, and that. Did you? Probably not. Probably because you didn't want to, which, like I said, goes back with the other one. You know, I didn't want to either, but I did it. So you should be able to walk into a room, hold your head up high, because you know ain't nobody in there better than you, because you know they don't outwork you. You know they don't work harder than you. And it's not a talent thing, it's a work ethic thing. Like I just said, everybody knows hard work outbeats talent every time. Every time, everybody knows that already. So I'm better simply because I work harder than you and I have the calluses on my hands to prove it. Your hands are so. And this is not like a arrogant or cocky type thing. Like, oh, I'm better. Like you're actually better than that person. Like, don't, don't go there with this. Please don't go there. That, that's not what this is. And matter of fact, this is the one that is easiest to be the most humble with. Number four is the easiest to be the most humble with. Easy. You can look at somebody and just tell they finna win. They just look so sure of themselves because they do the things they say they're gonna do. They tell themselves the truth. They get outside their comfort zone and they outwork everybody. So before they even perform, like it ain't even about talent no more. Before they even perform, you're already like, oh shoot, they got this. Just by looking at them. All they had to do was walk in the room. Because at that point, your confidence is so captivating. It's like a fragrance that you give off unconsciously because you know subconsciously, You've outworked everybody. All right, I really hope y'all got something out of that today. I just really feel like that unshakable confidence when nobody can tell you anything is so much better than that surface confidence, you know, looking good in a certain outfit is, you know, at least I think. I and mean, I'd rather have the unshakable confidence that nobody else can take away from me ever, you know? All right, that's all I have for y'all today. Y'all already know the drill. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And actually, while I'm thinking of it, I looked at my analytics the other day and tell me why 96% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? That don't even make no sense. Go ahead and subscribe. You might as well go ahead and subscribe. So I am going to leave a clickable subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video and I will also link it in the description. Okay, so at this point, it's no excuse. All right. All right. See y'all later. Lord Jesus, I bet you part of that 96% that watch my videos that are not subscribed. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? You might as well go, go ahead and join the cool kids and subscribe, okay? You stayed all the way to the end of the video, you might as well. I mean, come on. Go ahead. I'm waiting, go ahead. See you later.